what is up squad it's your girl six shot thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me today for another episode of my minecraft survival series today is episode 16 and i really wanted to start it off right here it's one of the best views of my area i love standing up here and just looking at it it gives me so much inspiration like and you know i just see things i want to change see things i want to improve and today friends we are working on something that is long overdue yes 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 this is the mob grinder <laughs> i mean it's finished as far as it works and it functions well not right now i disabled it i added torches and got rid of all the water buckets but this project has stayed like this at a standstill for a very long time it's probably one of the longest ongoing projects or incomplete projects that i have within my world i built this very early on uh before i even went to the end to get an elytra because i wanted to you know start up a collection of gunpowder and things i would need i didn't find a skeleton spawner yet so i also needed the bones for bone meal and whatnot but i built this with the thought in mind of wanting to kind of redo this village here and my thought process for this village was that they're kind of you know i don't want to say poor but they're definitely not rich <laughs> and in order for the village to succeed all the habitants of the village need to work together so they're all farmers whether they farm wheat carrots whatever they want to farm doesn't i mean you know they all work together they profit as one because if one person fails the whole village fails but what do your crops need to succeed of course it needs water fresh water not salt water not dirty swampy murky water no 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 it needs fresh water so when i built this i built this pretty decently low to the ground and everything with the thought in mind that i wanted to make this a water tower it's only taken me months if not closer end to a year <laughs> to actually try and finish this project so that's what we're working on today uh, i have gathered up some resources i'm gonna leave it right here for now a whole bunch of things here i have some stuff in my inventory too that i'm gonna need but first I should probably build myself a platform. Where's my s I didn't bring slime with me. I probably did somewhere. Um, here we go. So what I need to do is first of all, get rid of the water. And we are going to do that I like this so. I'm gonna do this, get rid of all the water, and then I will be right back with you guys. Uh oh. So I got the water all cleared out. I also removed the glass. I'm gonna set myself up a little workstation somewhere down here at the bottom. It's all lit up to prevent anything from spawning here. 
And what I'm going to work on now is surrounding this. I need to make this instead of diamond shape. I need to make it circular. And I think what I'm going to do is leave a two block airspace on all these corner sides and then i'll just need to figure out so the wall would be here on this block here right there and i just need to figure out what the diameter is so that i can figure out how big the circle is gonna be so let's see one two three 23, 23 blocks diameter, and we have to figure out how to make a circle from that. Great. Okay, I'm not good at circles, but I do, it is something that I wanna get better at. So let me just mark all of these. Okay, let's see. Do two on this side. Two, two. Now let me work towards this side. Oh. Oh, sweet. There we go. <laughs> that works. That was easier than I thought it was going to be. But I figured I'd just work my way from both sides to meet each other, which worked out perfectly. So two, two, two. And I think it looks like this yeah okay so let me complete the circle make sure it looks okay when i'm done and then i'll figure out <clears throat> excuse me i'll figure out how we want to go about completing the water tower ah <laughs> I guess it's... Oh yeah, looks pretty good from the little, quick little glance that I got. Looked pretty circular. Okay, so what do we want to do here? This is going to be the... I think what I want is dark oak. Let me set my... my um All my stuff down over here. Yeah. Okay, I got my bed anything else i'll put down the ender chest as well just in case i need supplies out of there okay so what i'm thinking is i want the sides to be dark oak And I'm undecided if I want to strip it or not yet. But I think what I'm going to do is take this all the way up. Time to fall. Ow, I didn't activate my elytra like I wanted. <laughs> okay. And so I'm just going to build this one side with you guys see how it looks and then we will work from there but i am thinking this is how it's gonna be oh, i forgot to do the top that's fine i'll do it when i um let's grab some tinted glass And then fill it in here because we don't want light coming in, of course. This is my first time working with tinted glass, too. I'm pretty excited to see how this is going to look. But I did want to see, have some areas where I can see in. You know what? I have slime blocks. I should use them. Okay. 
So let me see that and that. And then we'll get this here and then that's gonna be it for one side. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, I like that. This uh, top part's gonna go as well. I have gonna be putting a roof on here. But I like how it looks. Let's get rid of this for now. Is that? Yeah. I like it. Uh, so one more thing that I was thinking about is adding some details to the tinted glass with, let me see, uh, jungle trap doors. I'll just tell you what it is because I have to pick up these blocks anyways and yeah, I think jungle trap doors would look nice as a ring all the way around there. Well, let me get those. Those are going to be... Wow. Those are going to be a bit of an issue to get up here and place. So what I'm going to do is get some scaffolding and all of that. And I'm not going to subject you to that torture. So <laughs> I'll be back when I'm all ready. <laughs> All right, so I got scaffolding <laughs> going all the way up this contra weird contraption. Uh, there are safety concerns. <laughs> uh, but what I'm going to do is just put a ring around all the way around. And I think it's going to look pretty cool. I mean, okay, nope, I'm not going to have one be the wrong way. That's, or, I mean, I guess not the wrong way. It's just not put on the same way as all the other ones. Okay. Almost done, guys. Bear with me. And then we can move on to the next part. After I fix this one. <laughs> okay. Okay, this is gonna be, this is gonna, okay. Well, it's gonna kind of suck because if I have to build that back up, that's gonna suck. Okay. We just collect all my scaffolding real quick and then we'll take a step back. Give it a look. Yeah, I like the way that looks. Okay. Let's give it a look from the sky. Yeah, I like it. Okay, cool. I'm glad that turned out just as nice as how I envisioned it in my head. Uh, as far as over here, I think I want these to be jungle as well. Just like this. We're just gonna build up one section together and, and I'll take you through my thought process like I'm doing now. I think it's gonna turn out pretty cool. I don't really use jungle wood very much either, so <laughs> this is definitely, definitely different. And then 
for that these corner pieces here, I was thinking of using where's my oh here we go. More tinted glass. Here in here. Okay, now let's give that a look. After I eat. And see how we like it. Let me see if I can make it onto the treetop. Yes. Actually, I like it. I really like it. Definitely, definitely like it. Okay, cool. So now that we got the pattern and how we want the palette to look, I am going to continue building this all the way around and hopefully it doesn't take me too long, but you never know. I'm a very slow builder <laughs> and that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. All right, well, now we got one side. Yeah, I like that a lot. Yeah, definitely. I like it. Uh, This is not where I need to be. I need to be down here. Okay, cool. Um, But I am noticing very quickly I am definitely going to need more jungle planks, so, well, and probably trap doors. So I'm gonna have to pause pretty quickly. I need to go grab some saplings and plant and possibly bone meal. Yeah, probably bone meal so I could grow it really quickly. And I'm gonna grow um, some jungle trees down there to farm up some jungle wood because like i said i didn't really i don't usually usually use jungle wood too much so i was uh wasn't sure how much i would need and i definitely underestimated the amount <laughs> by a lot <laughs> those three stacks only got me one side done and he, yeah i'll be back well, look at the view though as I come back over here. It looks amazing. Okay. Got myself some saplings. I'm just gonna plop it down right over here and just bone meal it. Oh, that was fast. Oh, that's a short jungle tree. <laughs> okay, I have a hoe here, so this will get me. Hopefully it'll get me more saplings, but we'll see. Gather up all the stuff. I mean, yeah, we got the profit of saplings. That's always a plus. Okay. Next tree, because we're going to need more. Drop off some stuff. <laughs> I got to empty my inventory a little bit. It's getting a little messy. Very, very messy. Very, very quickly. Let's put this in here for now with these things just to keep my inventory kind of clear. And let's see. Time to move on.
that was way faster. Way faster than doing the scaffolding that I did. Oh! So what was I supposed to do that? <laughs> I like the way it looks from the inside too. Even though I won't be on the inside. <laughs> hey squad. Just taking a little break. My kelp over here was like fully grown, so... I know, I... <laughs> it's just like small little makeshift manual kelp farm over here that I have in this... I mean, you know, the village had this pond thing over here, so I might as well have taken advantage of it. I say it had a pond. This actually was water. All of this was water. I got rid of the water, but I left the pond. <laughs> I left the pond because I needed to get some... I needed a close area that had uh, kelp growing, which is not ideal, but, you know, I I'll work on a kelp farm soon. It is a goal within this world, a goal for me that I created for myself, that I wanted to make as many farms as possible, whether I start off manual and then uh, create an automated one later in the future or, you know, whatever the case may be. If it can be farmed, I want to attempt. Yes, attempt <laughs> to build one. Um, uh, yeah. Anyways, uh, I am going to take this back to my storage area and then I'll show you how far I've come along. Oh, are you, are you, drip leaf? Uh, no drip leaf. Why won't you give me the drip leaf? Okay, that's fine. I'm not mad. <laughs> you won't give me drip leaf. Oh, also, here's a... I don't think I showed you guys this change. I've been, you know, trying to decorate this area, I guess. Add a little bit of shrubbery. I really like the moss blocks. I actually prefer moss blocks over grass blocks. Um, so I went pretty heavy on the moss all the way around this area. I still, <laughs> I still have that. Uh, it was a zombified villager, vill zombie villager, what, whatever they're called. And I cured him and I <laughs> haven't moved him ever since. Um, anyways, yeah. So I added some leaf blocks, some moss and I left some carpet. Some of these are light sources as well. So I like the carpet, the moss carpet a lot because it helps hide light. Um, added some vines. I had these over here, but I bone mealed it to get some glow berries on there. I like the way it looks a lot. It's really coming together. I really like it. <laughs> um, I think that's all I've... I think that's all I've done in between episodes. Oh, I need more rockets too. Actually, no, I don't. I have a stack. Be going through a lot of rockets. Okay, I just wanted to give you guys, before I leave this area, a little, if a different angle. I like it a lot. I really like the the way the moss block looks. I don't know. I'm. I'm a big fan of them adding moss and the carpet, the moss carpet with the azalea. Big, big fan. I really, really like it. I want to use moss blocks everywhere, so I'll probably need to build some sort of moss block farm because it would be better than me standing around and bone mealing it myself. <laughs> okay. Let me know what you guys think about... I mean, I spend most of my time near this storage area. This is the closest thing I have to a house, honestly, so... 
I'm liking it a lot. I like the way it looks. Okay, let me show you guys. The build. I've only gotten about halfway around. Maybe a little bit more than halfway, but I really like the way it looks. It's really coming together. Looks really nice, actually. I wonder if there's a way like that. Jungle planks just like. Hmm. I have an idea. Maybe. Sorry, I know I'm flying around all over the place. But it's just very flat there. Maybe. I might need a little bit more of this if. Do I have? No, I don't have any more fence. Okay. Can I make it on the jungle tree? Actually, I think I can make it on the... Yep, I can. Okay, so let's see... Wait, no, this is not the right spot. What am I doing? It's like over here. Okay. Give me a moment. If I put this here... I'm just trying to think of something that I can add here to t to um, add a little bit of depth because just the jungle wood really, really makes that area look super flat. And before I look at it, I want to see... Yeah! <laughs> I'm such a horrible flyer that's why i like to walk around all over my world okay let me add it on this side and then we'll go over to the jungle tree and look at it and see if we like it oh that's way too much that's way too little <laughs> okay so is that the top yeah Okay. Let's see how we like it. Oh yeah, see, I like that a lot more. It like really makes it pop now instead of it being so flat. Adds a little bit of depth, I think. I like it. And the design of the the way the fence connects to the planks too makes it look pretty cool. Alright, cool. So now I know I gotta go make a little bit of more. Oh, wow, I can't. <laughs> not that I could ever English before, but oh my god, I can't English. <laughs> We're going to make more uh, dark oak fence so that we can make sure we add that all the way around. I am going to finish the rest of the cylindrical uh, water tower. There we go. The cylindrical shape of the water tower and then we'll see how it looks once it's all done and then from there we'll be able to move on to try to come up with some sort of roof design I'm scared because I don't like working with circles because I'm so bad working with circles but at the same time this is why I wanted to I want to use circles more for practice and hopefully I will learn a thing or two <laughs> along the way. <laughs> but yes, guys, do feel free to leave any feedback or suggestions on if you think I'm doing some... Or if you think there's a better way for me to do any kind of circular shape things. Uh, other than that... I'm going to finish up this back half of the water tower. I'm going to add in those dark oak fences and then we will reconnect and then reevaluate my work. <laughs> I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right. These are the last of the trap doors. 
Nice. Now I just have to do dark oak fence right here. And then I believe I am done. Hopefully I have enough. Oh, I think so. Nice. Six to spare. Let's come up this way. For sure. I really like it. Had to set up my spot over here. Because the next thing we're going to do is add the water buckets back once we figure the water pattern out at the bottom over there. And then we'll start working on the roof. But I really like it. I hope you guys like it. I really like it a lot. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think. Let me know in the comments below. Any feedback, anything you think I can possibly change to improve it. I really like it. Um, but it's not finished. <laughs> we still have the roof to do. I don't remember what I did with my water buckets. So I have to go get some. I will be back. All right. Water. This is the part. I really did not think of. Okay. Okay, let's see. If I get water there and there, then I'll be able to do that. Nice. So let's work with the sides and then hopefully I can figure out the rest. I think maybe I'll come in from the top. Oh, there's already a water bucket. What? Oh, that one doesn't have one. So now I'm confused. Leave all the waters going. It pushed off. Oh. Well, yeah. <laughs> I'd say it's working. <laughs> nice. Well, then. That's successful so far. <laughs> At least we know it's working. Nice. All right, squad, come in real close. Really, really, really close. So I've got some good news and I've got some bad news. Well, not bad news for me, bad news more so for you, I guess. <laughs> the good news is the build is done. I have to stand super far away from it so I don't give any spoilers off. The bad news is I'm splitting this into two parts. So the water tower project is going to continue in next episode. And in that episode, we'll be working on the roof. But as you saw from the last clip, we filled in the water. We put the water back in the dispensers, closed it up, and it's working. Matter of fact, I'm pretty sure it's working better than it used to, probably because there's zero light in there from the tinted glass. So, you know, I can appreciate that. <laughs> I hope you guys had fun hanging out with me today. 
you know that I really, really appreciate the company as always. Other than that, guys, I'm going to have to cut it here. Part two's coming soon, okay? So you'll be able to see the finished product shortly. Other than that, it's been your girl Six Shot. I hope you guys have an excellent rest of your day. Now that I just threw this wonderful, wonderful cliffhanger at you guys. And I'll catch you guys in the next, hello? <laughs> in the next video. Deuces! Oh, I broke something else, I think. Oh, it was just grass. No big deal. Deuces! <laughs> Part two coming soon. Sorry for the cliffhanger. Ha, 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 ha.